Trash talking is extremely common in the NBA. Players try to say whatever they can to get in their opponent's heads. But sometimes trash talking goes very wrong. Here are NBA moments where trash talking went wrong. Dylan Brooks and LeBron James. Starting off with one of the best guys that is probably best not to trash talk. LeBron James has been one of the best players in the NBA for the last decade. So defenders have been trying to get him off his game for years now. Dylan Brooks is one of the most recent to try to get under LeBron's skin. After game two of the first round of the playoffs in 2023, Dylan Brooks had some interesting words for the press. After trash talking LeBron during the game, Brooks said to the media, I don't care, he's old. I don't care, he's old. I poke bears. Um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. LeBron clearly heard those words, as before the next game of the series, he went over and spoke to Brooks before the game. Let's just say that the two didn't look like the closest of friends, and LeBron was clearly upset that he would be called old. LeBron might be old by NBA standards, but poking the king like that is not the smartest thing to do. Brooks paid for that trash talk in Game 4, when the old man sealed the game by driving past him and putting up a dagger and one. Brooks was not able to back the talk up at all. Despite the Grizzlies winning Game 5, the Lakers upset the two-seeded Grizzlies to advance to the next round. Dylan Brooks probably should have thought a little bit more before talking about LeBron James. Suns pay for trash-talking Luka Let's just say that the Phoenix Suns and Luka Doncic do not get on at all. The conference semifinals matchup between the two teams in 2022 was full of trash talk from both sides. One of the moments that really got fans' attention was when Devin Booker went to the floor after a hard foul and really sold the fall. While on the floor, Booker turned to the fans and called his flop the Luka Special. It was just one of the ways that the Suns tried to get under Luka Doncic's skin, and it worked to an extent as they took a 2-0 lead in the series. They even had the series at 3-2 going back to Phoenix, but this is where things really went wrong for the Suns. It started going bad in Game 6. When the Mavericks were up 20 points in the third quarter, Luka got a bit of revenge after a nasty dunk. He celebrated by flexing and shouting in the direction of the Suns bench, who had talked a lot after the Suns win in Game 5. But that wasn't even the end of the revenge. In Game 7, the Suns completely fell apart. At halftime, the Mavericks were leading the game by 30 points. 30 points at halftime. In a seven game series, the entire Suns team scored just 10 points in the second quarter. It was an embarrassing performance by the entire Phoenix team, made worse by the fact that it was even in front of their own fans. That is some embarrassing trash talk. Trey Young and the Knicks fans. Sometimes, the trash talk comes from an entire fan base. Well, in 2021, the New York Knicks fans were thrilled to be back in the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Well, those fans showed just how much they loved the Knicks and hated Trey Young, the man who was trying to eliminate the Knicks from the playoffs. Throughout the entire series, Trey Young was on the end of chance from the Knicks fans. I don't think I have to tell you what they were saying, because it was ugly stuff. One fan even took things way too far, spitting on Trey Young in Game 2 of the series. Knicks fans were really doing a lot of trash talking to stop Trey Young. The trash talk from the fans did not get to Trey Young at all. In fact, he was loving being the villain of Madison Square Garden. After hitting the game-winning floater in Game 1, Young shushed the Knicks fans as MSG fell silent. Things only got worse for Knicks fans as the series went on. After the Knicks tied the series in Game 2, the Hawks would then win the next three to win the series. Young's 36-point performance in Game 5 in New York was by far his best performance of the series. After hitting a long three to extend the Hawks' lead to 15 points, Young bowed and waved goodbye to the crowd. Now that is fans being made to look very stupid for their trash talk. CP3 gets revenge on Patrick Beverly. There was no way we could do an NBA trash talk video without the king of trash talk, Patrick Beverly. Pat Bev has gotten under the skin of almost every guard in the NBA, and that includes Chris Paul. In the Western Conference Finals in 2021, the Suns and Clippers were in an incredibly close and tightly fought series. While the Clippers were up 9 points, Beverly took Chris Paul's feet from underneath him, causing CP3 to fall onto his back. 
Pat Bev clearly thought CB3 flopped, mocking his fall. Well, while the Clippers won that game, Game 6 was a very different affair. Pat Bev looked pretty stupid when Paul was nailing three-pointers to give the Suns a massive lead. He looked even more stupid after a timeout was called. The two men walked past each other, and it looked like CB3 said something to Beverly. Well, Pat Bev was the one to completely lose his head, taking a cheap shot at CB3 and pushing him to the floor, with the Suns advancing to the finals and Beverly being ejected from the game. That was not one of the battles where Patrick Beverly came out on top. Dwight Howard body checks Pat Bev. Patrick Beverly does really well to get under the skin of a lot of people, even the players that he isn't guarding. In a regular season game between the Rockets and the Atlanta Hawks, Dwight Howard and Patrick Beverly were talking trash to each other after a small bump from Howard. Pat Bev replied in exactly the way you would expect, saying that Howard was all talk. A pretty good reply from Beverly, but Dwight did show that he was not all talk pretty soon after that. Trash talking with a guy who is almost a foot taller than you, and around 70 pounds heavier, is maybe not the smartest thing to do. So on the very next play, Howard got his revenge. The screen that Howard set on Beverly seemed to have a little bit more physicality than usual, sending Pat Bev to the floor pretty hard. I mean, that is a great way to get revenge, and I'm sure that Dwight Howard really enjoyed getting his revenge. Warriors get revenge on Christmas. Christmas is usually a time of gift giving, time with family and comfort, but you might not realize it is also a time for trash talk. Well, at least that's what the Memphis Grizzlies thought when they played the Golden State Warriors on Christmas in 2022. The two teams had met in the playoffs in 2022 and the trash talk carried on from there. Dylan Brooks was once again the man who led the trash talk, even though the Warriors were without Steph Curry. Well, things did not go much better for the Grizzlies throughout the game. The Warriors returned a lot of the trash talk, with Clay Thompson giving Brooks some after he had fallen over in front of him. It must have been even sweeter for the Warriors to win the game pretty comfortably, and Clay even had some trash talk after the game. Probably not the smartest thing to do to a team as dangerous as the Warriors. Jordan shuts his eyes on Watumbo. Trash talk has been around in the NBA for a very long time, and one of the most famous trash talking moments was when Michael Jordan made Dikembe Mutombo look pretty silly. The two had been talking trash all game, as the pair did for most of their careers. Well, the trash talking got to the GOAT, and it produced a brilliant NBA moment. Just as Jordan was about to shoot a free throw, he calls Mutombo out and says, This one's for you, baby. Jordan then shuts his eyes and nails the free throw without even looking. I mean, that is such a good way to make your opponent look silly, and one of the best clips from Jordan's insane career. What do you think is the biggest when trash talking goes wrong moment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.